Hi everyone, in today's video we will create a 12V battery pack using a 3S BMS and stay tuned and watch the video because it's a very interesting project. First things first, you have to test your batteries to make sure that your battery is good what you are using for the BMS and to have the right voltages. For that I'm using a Chinese tester and the key metrics what I'm looking for is the internal resistance of the battery. As lower, as better. Since it is a 3S BMS for the 12 volt application, I'm using single cells for the 3S, the 3 series, and all the batteries looks to be okay since the internal resistance is under mi uh, 100 milliohm then we are good to go further normally for similar kind of application you should use some copper band especially for this kind of lithium ion batteries for that 18 650 type of batteries but since I'm of lack of spot welder I will solder some cables in order that I can sort the cable First, I have to remove the isolation, obviously. For that, I'm using a clamp, which is a special isolation remover. But it's not mandatory for you to use something like that. I usually prefer to use some sort of wire which has the flux inside makes it much much easier the soldering in the end of the wire and it makes things way faster now it is time to solder the wire on the battery positive node and the negative node as well. I will do the same procedure for all of the three batteries. After tighten together all the three batteries, I'm using a double side tape to use to put the BMS on top of the batteries. And then it's time to connect the wires. Here is a schematic where you can see how I have connected the wires. part where I'm connecting the wires. Let me speed up a bit just to win some time and do not lose your time. And if you enjoyed the video you can consider to like and subscribe. The subscribe is totally free and the like helps me to get your feedback. If you dislike then dislike. Once the wires are connected, then it is time to test. I'm using a multimeter set on 20 volts, and you can see this BMS has 
and output as 9 volts, 9.8, 9.9. Let's charge a bit and after then it's time to test. After charging it light for 50 minutes, we have like 11.4 volts, which is enough to drive an LED band and to test that again how the BMS is behaving. If you enjoyed the content, if you think you have learned something, do not hesitate to like and to subscribe to my channel. I'm looking forward to see you in my next video. Thank you for your attention, I wish you a great day.